and welcome back. This is Lupin About, and I am AK47, also known as Alicia. And I'm Lizzie215, also known as Liz, or Lizzie, if you feel so inclined to call me that way. Why don't you go by your full name? Uh, because it's long, and it's <laughs> Latin, and... You don't it, want people it just ends, saying it wrong. Yeah, it <laughs> ends in an A. So, my full name is Lisela, but it's spelled with a Z. And, um, yeah. And then I also hate it when people say Lizella. Yes. <laughs> That's totally my Which sense. I understand why, because apparently there is a Lizella, Georgia, spelled exactly like my name okay. is spelled. Mm -hmm. So I understand. I mean, it's not like, you know, yeah. that's just what they The find. mispronunciation drives me mad. Okay. So that's why my name is spelled the way it is. It's phonetic, because my father didn't want anybody calling me Alice or any <laughs> derivation, derivation of Alice. So <laughs> there's no C's in my entire name. Um... And, yeah, it definitely is a point of contention. <laughs> so, I totally get that. But, um, welcome back, guys. Thank you for joining us again. If you've been with us before, we're working on our seventh episode right now. Yeah. It, we're being consistent in some way, and that's amazing. I think, yeah, we've been taping every seven to ten days, which for us is... It's, that's a win. <laughs> that's a win. a column somewhere. Yeah. Let's talk about your looping about. My you went of, somewhere. I did go somewhere. I went to Orlando, Florida for my 20th high school reunion. It's hot. Oh my gosh, so hot. Was it hot? So hot. <laughs> I felt like I was melting. <laughs> You're like, we're just going to stay in. We did. Or except, underwater. <laughs> except for my daughter, of course, being three and a half, she wants to go swimming all the time. Okay. And my husband is a native-born Seattleite. So, no. If I was melting, he was, like, putty. So you he, need to find shade. For yeah. shade. For him. No, no. He, he didn't want to go outside. He's just like, can I just stay inside in the air conditioning? So I, of course, had pool duty. So I'd be out with my daughter while my, my, my other minion, my baby boy, was napping. So that's how we, you know, we, we're, we're all about splitting and conquering. You know, if we, one of us takes us in charge of each kid, we're good. This is his first summer. Your little one. Yes, this is his first summer. So does he tan? Yeah, he tan. That's exciting. I know. My you husband, passed it on. My husband's also <laughs> very, very, very pasty. Both of our husbands are <laughs> very pasty. So um, they don't, you know, they I don't tan. I think my husband could be transparent. <laughs> yeah. They don't tan. So I, that was like one of the few things I wanted. Well, not one of the few things. But one of the things I really wanted my kids to get for me was at least olive skin. And so they do. They have tan. some protection from the sun. <laughs> yeah, they tan. I don't know how much they'll need it if we they end up living here in Seattle all the time. But they can tan. It's getting hotter here. It is We're getting hot. more sun than... So, yeah. But, I mean, while it was great seeing all my old friends from high school did and stuff... Did you knit? I did not knit. Ah. That's what I was going to say. <laughs> and there was no knitting at all involved. Like, I think one day, one day I got, like, two rows on my daughter's socks, which I'll show you guys in a minute. Her Hermione's. Yeah, I think I got, like, two rows one afternoon, and that was it. Because yeah. everyone always wanted to, like, go hang out or talking. It was like a retreat. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's a yeah. retreat. It's exactly like no a time. retreat, but no knitting. But you were, <laughs> she was prepared for that. She only took one project. I took one and project. Thinking, <laughs> Just one project? What are you talking about? Yeah, no. And then, you know, if I wasn't, if I wasn't hanging out talking, you know, we kept the kids on West Coast time, and so splitting and conquering... I always I that have, means you had to eat off of everybody else different times and right napping. And I also had my purse baby as I called him because you know we were dividing and conquering. So if I wasn't full time with my daughter, I was carrying my baby around. He was my he was my party companion. Okay, I he can go anywhere. He can go anywhere. <laughs> so I would carry him to hang out with my friends. I took him to like they have dances at night. So I took him to like all the dances, and everyone was like, "Shouldn't you be baby sleeping?" And I'm always like. West Coast time, <laughs> partying it up. <laughs> Does he like the beats? Oh, dude, the Latin baby, beats. My baby dances. Yes, he's been dancing or he's been bouncing. You know, beat. I think seriously think he's gonna be a musician because he's no, been yes. like, and he bounces to the beat. So awesome. he did not get that. So you pass that on too. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Except he's way better at it than I am. I think he has more rhythm than I do. I don't think I've ever seen your husband even sway. No, <laughs> my husband does not sway. He, he plays a mean volleyball, but he yeah. doesn't dance. <laughs> so yeah, so you know, we we're back now, and I finally, I, got, I do get so I have gone some knitting in since we've been back. We just, you know, it was a long weekend. Yeah, yeah. 
Well, I finished one thing and I said I'd wear it if it fit, if I couldn't break a seam, but I think I will break a seam <laughs> because it doesn't fit. Um, it fits lengthwise, um, but the shoulders are way too snug. So my broad shoulders do not fit in it. And my arms are busting out of the arms too. The arms so are too tall. I'll try it on mom and see how it goes. Um, I don't think I'd ever use this yarn again. It, because the because of the yarn, or was it the 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 fiber, the cotton? You don't like. Now, I know you don't. I'm like gonna it. forgive it for being linen cotton. Linen, yeah. If you, whether I like it or not, it it is what it is. It hurts to knit. I probably had a tight gauge. Um, probably a couple things were going against me in this. But this particular yarn, I don't know what it's called. I don't know if it's is this the chain ply that people are talking about that it's. It's like a tube. Oh, so there's okay. a string at the end. And if you tug on the string, you unravel the yarn as you go. Yeah. Oh. Have you thought about this? About what do I do about tucking in my ends? Mm -hmm. Can I wash it? Because you're supposed to be able to put this in the washer and the dryer because it's linen and cotton and that's why we would use it. Right. But is it going to unravel while it's being washed? I don't know. And nobody has an answer. I don't know if they're just being kind. <laughs> Or what, but I don't want to use Lindy chain again or anything of the same construct because I'm gonna to have to give this as a gift now. And before, if it was gonna be for me, I could make those exceptions, right? I could soak it, handle it gently, be very careful about how I wear it and when I wear it. But now that it's gonna be a gift, I, I feel really weird about it. Maybe not. Well, you can give if you gift long. it to another knitter. You could take it to ZK next year and the garment the the, the, the swap, swap the swap the garment swap or something. That's true. I could. So we'll try it on mom because she knows it's coming. Um, and if it doesn't fit her, then I will probably. I don't know. I feel bad just giving it away. Just for the thought of it might unravel. Yeah, but so, if you give it to another knitter with the forewarning, I think it's fine. It's true. So we'll see. It might show <laughs> up next year at the adoption. Yeah, the... Knitwear adop adoption. Knitwear adoption, exactly. Um, so finished. Yay, that was the Eddie top, and it is by Isabel Kramer. Wonderful pattern. I oh, really what? love the fit. I love her patterns. I haven't had the chance to make one yet, but I have, like, probably about 20 at least in my queue. You should do it. Yeah. <laughs> I really like the way she writes her patterns. Well, so since I couldn't wear that, um, I decided to wear a different piece of knitting. And this is the Kuka pullover, maybe? K-U-K-K-A. And I can't think of the person who did it. I should know. Oh, Nora Gon Goffin. Don't worry. She'll put it in the little Yeah, it's right there. Tap. Do you see it? Um, <laughs> yeah. I didn't enjoy the knit, but because of this knit, I won this yarn. So I thought I would just wear a connection to it so that I'd have some knitting to talk about and wear. Hi, Kitty. We're good. No. Um, you finished something. Yeah, I finished one. And it's one part of our pop. thesis. Part of my thesis. I finished one Hexi Puff. This was my goal, at least, because I didn't get much knitting done since last week's talk. But I wanted to at least knit one Hexi Puff with the lovely yarns that were donated by our friends Kim and Anetta. I believe this one came from This came Kim. from CK. This and I think this came. one's Kim because yeah. it's pink. Yeah. And she likes bright colors. And so I was, yep, that's one. These were two little pieces of yarn that were together. And since I, you know, I magic knot them. I don't usually use magic knot except for hexi puffs because I'm like, well, if it unravels, no big deal. You just yeah. slap another one in. Yeah. So magic knot just makes it easy. Um, and yeah, so thank you. There's my one finished object. Yay. Hopefully next time I will have more. Yay. <laughs> I have hexagons finished, so I've, I've been working on... So when I came back from this retreat, my mojo is just gone. I don't know where I left it. It, it fell off the truck somewhere. But I wanted to show the two that I got done. So I'm working on Friesland. It is... Um, so I guess you, it's a pieced blanket. So these pieces are hexagons. So this is chart A, and that's pineapple. You can see the pineapples, aren't they precious? This that one's my cute. favorite one. I need to make six of those. And I that's was a good thinking, one. I could do six pineapples. And then the second one is beetles, which I don't like beetles because they remind me of cockroaches, but I've decided they look like little shields. They look pretty though. <laughs> yeah, they, right. I, would, I would never guess they look like I beetles. I only had to make two of those because I moved it around so I didn't have to make four. 
So describe this for anyone who hasn't seen this pattern, even though if you're a knitter on Ravelry, okay. I don't understand how you haven't seen this pattern. So, so um, this person also wrote, what's that? Uh, Persian Dreams. Persian Dreams. It's probably the one that you see the most. That's a fingering weight hexagon blanket. Uh, I don't have a picture of it next to me because I'm not prepared. But it's going to be 29 hexagons that are pieced together. So these are all live stitches. Which is the um, reason I don't, I don't knit see. this blanket. That's way too many live stitches live for Live stitches, they're put on scrap yarn, and when you're ready to piece them together, you're supposed to do a Kitchener, but I, you know how much mattress I Mattress stitch. Kitchener. I don't like mattress stitch either, so I'm three needle binding off. Oh, you're going to three needle binding To off. combine them. And when I, I have nine done right now. Okay. So I had put it away for a while. This but is awesome. the next time I work on it... I'll be sure that I put these Start together it, with yeah. it, and I'll show you the center surrounded by six finished ones, because I have six finished ones. Don't hold your breath, though. This could be six months from now. <laughs> well, I have six of them put together okay. already, so it, it doesn't look like much right now. That It doesn't seem organized to me, so I don't want to show it pieced together when it doesn't make much sense right now. So that is being housed in one of my two... Fat squirrel bags. So this was a pre-order, because remember last time I tell you I'll only order from her when it's pre-order, and that's library bags. And it's library cards from very known authors and books, and they have little checkout information on them. Awesome. Yeah. Other thing I'm working on, this would be my pool and conquer. Oh, man, mm -hmm. mine's been hiding. I haven't worked on it. Since last time you guys saw it. Yeah, my <laughs> mojo has been so dead that I'm thinking, I just went to old things. And I said, I'm just going to attack something. Yeah. yeah, that is easy to knit. Uh, instant gratification for the hexagons because I, I usually knit them in two days. The first one I knit in four days. And even then, I thought it was going to go into its fifth day. I was, <laughs> I was up late. Sean's like, just go to bed. This isn't a real deadline. And I said, no, I can't let this take me five days <laughs> to do 35 rows. Really? So I, I, I stayed up late, party hard on that. Where's my little progress keeper? Do you see it? Yes, it's over here. Right here. Okay. So that's how far I've gotten since the last time I saw you. Yeah. And it's, it's been recent. So I'd say about five inches, five and a half inches. It started to um, travel quite a bit. I don't know. I like the travel really though. fast. Fun. So then I slowed it down by um, reducing some stitches. So do you see it got kind of thin striped up yeah. here? So we'll see. It's going to take forever. I thought about weighing it live <laughs> and with you guys, but then I didn't bring my weighing machine down. But I, I'm hoping we're at. I don't know. How heavy do you think it is? I don't know. I'm bad at this. 55 grams out of 300? I'm bad with grams. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 55 grams. Like, let's just go with that. Let's throw, let's throw I would love number. to be a skein in, but I'm, I don't think I am. Well, just think about it this way. way I'm even further behind. <laughs> yeah, I'm thinking of, ooh, what if I put some, I don't know, eyelets in it or something? <laughs> You won't like it. Yeah, you, won't, you won't wear it as much after if you probably put it on not. It. So I'm I'm trying to get to the point where I feel really motivated to just go hard on it, but it, it hasn't happened yet. But because I got a little bit of progress done, I thought I'd show it to you guys. Um, thanks for sticking it out and watching our thesis grow really slowly. Yeah, <laughs> by one hexi puff and five <laughs> inches. Exactly. And this is being housed in a Silver Shed USA bag. It's a one ton, one ton, one ton. Is that how you? Uh, one ton. That's the shape of it. Yeah. yeah. So basically, a large dumpling bag. You yeah. Be, they use the, the small dumplings. So this yep. Is, she, so I this is a bigger one. One ton. Yeah. We got this at ZK 2016 last year in our as our goodie bag. It was full of goodies, and I'm really stoked. Love it. I use it all the time. Um, I find that I don't have bigger bags. Oh, so maybe future note mm -hmm. to future self, you need. Some more sweater bag. Exactly. Or maybe one more at least. Yeah. But you have some lab work. I do have some lab work. There's something small in there. Yes. I have the socks for my daughter. 
It kind of um, looks like a swimsuit top right now. It does. It looks like a very small bikini. <laughs> Both are magic loops. So, uh, two at a time, I'm doing Hermione's everyday socks. Awesome. But I agree again, doing them toe up. Um, but like Alicia recommended last week, I didn't bother switching the pattern out. It's reversible. First. Oh, keep going. I will. Um, so, yeah. So, that's been pretty easy knit. Uh, I'm doing them on zeros. I use the uh, super sock calculator to figure out um, how many stitches I should start for the toe and then for her size and then I also I'm planning on doing the um, fishless kiss heel so if anyone's ever done it there's my daughter's little foot pattern <laughs> for her age right now it's and too so cute it's nice it's actually really nice to have this because I don't always have my daughter around to like try on the sock because so, you do a lot of your knitting at work. I do a lot of my knitting at work. Lunchtime knitting. Lunchtime knitting, or I will knit in meetings if I'm don't if I'm not rel relative to the meeting. If they just want me to sit and listen in, yeah, I'm that person. Mm -hmm. um, so it's really nice to just have it to measure her foot. Can and you start seeing the design on there? Oh, you can. Yeah, and it's. It, I mean, this is an easy way to know that you're you know somewhere near the right size for the sock. Mm -hmm. For anyone who's ever done it. What kind of heel are you going to put in it? The fishless kiss heel. Because okay. I like short rows and keeps They're it easy. so quick. It's so yeah. quick that way. And I don't have to worry about picking up stitches. Because I'm always, I'm, I know, I'm paranoid about if I'm going to pick Dropping up. Dropping something. Or if I'm going to pick up enough stitches. Or if I'm going to have a huge gap. Mm, okay. For not, yeah. So She's afraid of holes. I'm afraid of holes. And I know, I mean, I shouldn't be afraid of holes. You can always just take the little piece of string and, you know. And I will tell you this. Up. People don't get that close to my socks to see them. <laughs> <laughs> it's not Step away from my socks. <laughs> it's not about you. It's about me knowing that the hole is there. It'll bug her. <laughs> It'll both bug me. That's why I like sweaters bug me because you know, I never I never think people oh, pick up enough stitches. Oh, picking up right here? Yeah. Oh, I so I just always, I always go with the mindset that, you know what, I'm going to have to use some well. extra yard yardage and just knit those holes up together. I did no knitting of any kind of hole on this. Or sewing. Oh, yeah, you did do right? great. Uh -huh. There's a little bit of a gap right there, but yay. So between picking up it and, uh, as Megan likes to say, shushing. Yeah, she likes to zhush her yeah, stitches. Zhush. So <laughs> you can you can get the holes covered. <laughs> Brilliant. So is that your only work in progress? That's the only one I have any significant amount of progress on. I have zero. Like, my work in progress was all thesis work this time. So I need to put a... I'm not impressed with myself, to say the least. I want to put a, a, a... I'll remember to put a uh, progress keeper on it. I don't know where my oh, progress yeah. keepers are. Since I, I have... Yeah. No, I have one. It's just not everywhere. We'll find one. So have you gotten anything in the mail lately? Uh, so yes. Eureka. I got one thing in the mail. I think we talked so about we it So we talked before. about it last week. I was lucky enough to win the um, Desert Vista Die Contest uh, Sci-Fi Fantasy for July. And, I, and it's beautiful. I did Age of Ultron, and so this was the scheme she sent me. Can you see the Yay! purples in there? The purples and the blues. Oh, I'm so excited so about green. So I have no idea what I'm going to knit with this yet, but I'm sure it'll be socks or something. It'll so. be stripey. <laughs> it'll be stripey. <laughs> so yeah, that's the one thing. I've been trying to, you know, since it is stash month of stash dash or summer stash dash, I have been trying to not buy things. So you probably won't see me with too many Eurekas, at least until the fall. Then I get in trouble again. Mm. At ZK, there was a uh, trip that you could go on. So a couple years ago, it was like a beer and wine like, trip. Yeah. trip. Um, I don't remember what last year's was. I, I don't usually go on them, but this one went to a berry farm. And at the berry farm, they had a little pop-up, and Lavender Loon was there. And the person who hosted the trip is a natural dyer, like natural dyes that she grows in her farm, in which people visited and went berry picking. Um, but they also had a local soap maker there. And so when the girls came back that went on the trip, they said, oh my gosh, smell this. So I was handed this little little bar. It's called Summer is the Smell. It's simple soaps amazing. for simple folks. So it's simple oh. soaps for simple, right? So ah! they gave me that and they said, oh my gosh, this was amazing. And they have uh, a market, like a street fair market on Saturdays, which was the same day as the marketplace at ZK. Yeah, do it. Um, and they said, 
they're open till noon. And I said, well, we start shopping at 10. 10 to noon is the first marketplace open to the people that went to ZK. And then they take a hour break or a half an hour break and then they open it up to all public, right? And so I thought, okay, I'll go in, do a quick run around and then go to this farmer's market and then, and then come back. <laughs> I have time. So I picked up some soaps. And it's goat milk mm -hmm. soap. So oh, that's yeah. simple so soap for, your skin. for simple folks. And their online is igoatsoap.com. Kind of like I got soap, but goat. <laughs> Isn't that just fantastic? So this one that I'm going to show you is the pomegranate with loofah. Yeah. So I just watched a video on this. This is a new craze going around with um, making soaps. They put a loofah inside, inside the soap. So it is as thick as this soap is. Lufa. Cool. I'm very excited. And it smells delicious. So this one, what flavor is this? So this is pomegranate with a loofa. Yeah. It has almond it's in it. so creamy. Like so we have one already going upstairs. And I think it was like um, lavender oatmeal or oh, something. I'm going to have to go check this out. I'll they try. smell amazing. So this one was $6, the one with the loofah in it. This one is five fifty, so, and it's so just a cheap. plain one. I know lemon and rosemary. So I kept like thirty bucks in my pocket. But I was like, <laughs> no, you can't have my money, yarn people. I've got to have cash for going, oh, and picking up some soap. So ran over there. Thankfully, they hadn't started breaking down already. I, I swear, I had ten minutes before noon happened, and they were gonna break down the farmers market. Went directly to this. Mm -hmm. Got my soap. And my little hand lotion, and I was out. So, no, yeah. Your hand lotion is. So, our house is really dry. I, I don't know if it's the radiant heat that we have. Super dry in this house. So, before we went to ZK, like, I was just dry all the time. This soap is keeping me moisturized. Awesome. Like, I don't even have to lotion as much as I was before that. So, if you are into some natural soaps, please check them out. iGoatSoap.com. Very cool. Very no, cool. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go check them out now. Yeah, that's and like good. My, the great little dispenser. My mother-in-law oh, awesome. loves soap, so yes. I'm a good uh, Christmas present. You know they're doing a washcloth along right now with O Loops. Yeah. You could do a soap and washcloth thing. I haven't it. done the O Loops this month yet. I'm not into making washcloths. I've never made one, so I I'm gonna try not to put any harsh on washcloth making until I do it and then I can judge it all I want no I know it, it's not the. I think it's fine I think knitting the washcloth and everything else because you don't fine. have to piece anything out it's like yeah. doing squares and then never having to sew them together it's just that I, I just I don't think I'd use it like to me it wouldn't be I don't know you haven't it. done it yet <laughs> I haven't been offered any washcloths either so I can't even say that I've tried something that somebody else has done for but me. maybe let us know if you absolutely love are you a washcloth washcloth and what is the best yarn to use because mm. I know I know it's cotton it has I've got cotton. some cotton upstairs I have some cotton I think that I have from like you know trying to teach my nieces to mm. knit yep some like all the cheap stuff the, yeah all the, the sweet the two dollar yeah and cream, it's one of those yep so if you guys if you guys think I'm missing out on the washcloth, please let me know, and I will knit one. I will give it a shot. Yeah, let's do it. I will admit I've never knit one. I just I'm not sure how how much I would use it. Yeah, I I have the same qualms with the same idea because I'm not really a washcloth person. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I use washcloths to clean bathrooms. I'm more of a loofah kind yeah. of person, or I'm you know, the spongy, you know, the. Mm -hmm. yeah. So then it can yeah, exactly. dig. <laughs> exactly. I um, like to scrub. <laughs> but works in progress. Yeah, again, not much knitting done, but I will show you what I have. Oh my god. It'll be good. Yeah. Brilliant. Well, we finished a six months of sock knitting. Yay! Six Congratulations months. to all you sock knitters. And we had three other participants besides me. And Liz, I feel like your skews could have been put in there. Nah, that's okay. Because you did that in a month, which yeah. was super impressive. Yeah, especially for me because I am Captain Slow. I I don't know. I think this podcast is really helping with your Tortuga ways. I think 
I don't think you're as slow as you used to be. Yeah. I, I think I have, this makes I have, you be honest to your knitting. I have more motivation now. Let's go mm-hmm. with that because you guys make, I'm like, I don't, I can't show up at the podcast without any right. progress. And I think I've seen more hexagons done. There have been a lot recently. more hexagons done since we started this podcast. And in the past, I started that blanket about three years ago. I, I yeah, I feel knitting. like it's been a couple of years. So, <laughs> yay. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah. I found yeah. a purse. Yes. Progress marker. That's a cute little pink bag you got there. I know. <laughs> All right, so let's talk about the, the knit along. The knit along was a six month knit along where I was going to do the GBD for six months. And I thought, if I'm going to be doing a sock a month, I might as well do it with a group of my friends. So, Philippa, Annetta, and Catherine were the three other knitters. Philippa got nine done. And six of those were Hermione's. So if you have any questions about Hermione's or <laughs> just want to hear somebody toot her horn on Erica Luter, um, ask Philippa because she did it in variegated. I don't know if I saw any striped ones, but it makes variegated just sing. She's yeah. got a bunch of those done. Annette got seven of them done, and Catherine got one. And I feel like Catherine probably got a few more done, but I think she might have stopped remembering to post in her <laughs> post. So, we should probably do a random number generator on a phone near me. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Progress app. You guys know how to find that. Ooh, while she does kills up the random number generator. This one I like. It says knitting is my therapy. It's cheaper anyway. It's cheaper. Well, <laughs> I don't know. If well, it depends sometimes. on how much yarn you buy. <laughs> How good your therapist is. So we have 1 through 17 because there were 17 completed socks. I didn't put mine in there. So I guess with mine, we would have 24. So that's a good number of socks per month. But Philippa got at least two per month. Very or close one and a half. to two. Per one month. and a half. Yeah. And then Annetta got all her DVDs done plus one. And I got all my DVDs done. So this is this has been a very successful successful thing. So generate. How do you make it go? Number one. What does that ever happen? <laughs> Number one wins. One out of 17. And the first entry was Anetta's Puff the Magic Dragon. So I think it was a Vanilla sock because it was perfect stripes and they are really pretty. And she gave me her scraps. So <laughs> I'm so excited. So, Anetta, you have won a skate of yarn. And actually, I thought I would bring some yarn down. I think I'm going to have to post some yarn that you can pick from on the thread. I'll do that this afternoon. Um, she has a love of red. So, I'll have to go see if I have any red. Yeah, she does have a love of red. Sock. Sock related stuff. And then, um, well, considering there are only two other people, why not really? Philippa and... Let's give some patterns out. Yeah, send us a pattern that you would like. So let's do sock patterns. Well, I know you have Hermione's Everyday Sock. Well, that one's free. <laughs> <laughs> that so one's free. Pick something that you want to splurge yeah. on um, for Philippa and Catherine. Yeah, yeah. and we'll ear burn you. Yep. <laughs> yeah, because Catherine still hasn't gotten back to me about winning a pattern for our... Last knit long. Okay, yeah. So Our monthly we will, yeah. birthday bash D stash, which we should probably talk about. August is coming up. We didn't do June and July, and you know what? It's My fine. mojo. I think it's summer. I mean, I, every, I think everyone's we knitting. We needed a break, of, right? Yeah, everyone's knitting kind of dwindles. So let's do August, and Annetta should be announcing pretty soon what that's going to be. But I wanted to let you guys know. I mean, a little birdie told me who was Annetta that. It's probably going to be along the lines of Tin Can Knits. They have a BOGO going on right oh, now. Oh, yeah, BOGO. So buy one, get one free. And I think it's anything you can get digital copy of. Yep. But it, all, it includes their ebook. So if you buy mm-hmm. one ebook, which you can get two. E-book, their ebooks are usually $18. Um, you get it's two. A great deal. So you get something like you could get 30 patterns for $18. Yep. Yeah. So check it out. I will try to post this soonly because I think it expires on the 16th. So maybe that will help me motivate to get this out for the 16th. Yes. But I don't think I need any more of their patterns, but I'm ready <laughs> to cast them on. 
Because for whatever book I have, would I have the, the other, other one. <laughs> so we have lots of. And actually, I was talking to Annette yesterday, and I think she has something like 60 patterns by now. <laughs> and I think she's done 10. Yeah. So she's a sixth of the way through those. Um, and I'm thinking I might do a sweater. Ooh. They have, well, I've done I've done two sweaters mm-hmm. by Tin Cannons. Um, trusted they were both little kid size. I've done a little <laughs> kid one, too. I did Gramps. Right. I did Lush for my daughter. And Flax. And Flax for my son. But, I mean, the nice and thing And blankets, is, a bazillion blankets, she said. Well, I've done three of their blankets. Yeah. Three. Which I think they only have five. Um, five or six? I don't know. I've done two or three. I bounce. And you have one you want to do. Oh, yeah. I've got See the sky. Or... Yeah, see the sky. That's the other one I want to do. But I think I have to wait for another. I have to wait for a Northwest baby. Because okay. both the babies that I'm making blankets for now are friends of mine from California. So I like to make airier blankets because it doesn't get as hot down there. So things with holes and yeah. stuff. But see, since Cedar Sky is like a solid blanket, I need uh, to wait for a Northwest. It's cable-y. It's cable-y. I need mm-hmm. to wait for a Northwest baby. <laughs> that will need the warmth. <laughs> That'll need the warmth. You know, at least somewhere where they it gets cold in winter. Exactly. And California winters don't count. <laughs> that is so very true. I don't call that winter. Well, unless, well, unless, no, unless you're in Bishop or something. Unless you're like in Tahoe. Yeah. And maybe. But no, my friends live in, in the, the Bay Area. Yeah. Where the cities are is not where it's cold. <laughs> no. <laughs> you need some elevation. Exactly. I think that sums it up. Yeah. That's... This, this might be a short one, kids. Yay! Yay for short seven. ones! Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, we really appreciate you coming and talking to us. We have our show notes on our Ravelry group, which is Loop It About. And you can find us there. So yes. We'll chat. Bye, time. everybody. Bye.